All right, guys. I'm so excited for you to do this activity, and I'm so bummed that I'm going to be actually out sick today because I love nothing more than to watch you squeal in horror and delight as you go through this activity. Um, it really explains itself, but since I'm not going to be at school, I wanted to give you the gist of it because it's pretty bizarre. <laughs> what? says the teacher that's in a blanket, <laughs> her famous uh, remote learning outfit. Okay, so here's how it's going to go. You're going to start the activity, and at some point you're going to get transported to Hill. You are going to always start with the star. When you see the star, you're going to see some very bizarre shenanigans Welcome happening. Welcome to your strange dream. I can't spoil all the fun, but I can tell you that some of the like the tags are going to lead you to somewhere else like for example if you were trying to go into the main building you could click here now read what it says because it will give you hints like it says there could be arrows on the tags with stuff hidden and you know i'm very sneaky and then you might even see some surprises i don't even want to spill the beans on that one you're going to troll all around the school. You're going to try to get into the main building. You're going to try to get into the commons. You're going to try to get in the specials. But you're not only going to be limited to the reality of our school. You might find the inside of Mr. Mayor's head. You might find out Mr. Drummond's secret job. There are you might you might end up at my house. There's so much weirdness in this file. I even surprised myself looking at it again. There are 30 math problems hiding around the land. You will know that you have found one because they are pretty obvious. You will see it. It looks like this. It gives you the number, and then if you use the little arrow key, it will give you the problem. You can click on things to make them bigger, as you know. You're going to keep all of your notes in a notebook, and you're going to try to find all 30 problems. You probably won't find them because I am very sneaky. But you might get the fever and you might look longer than you think you might because I'm telling you what, this stuff is crazy. When it's time for you to give up, you're going to return back to this main landing page and you're going to wave the right white flag of surrender. And it's going to take you to a Google form where you can submit your answers. You're only going to be allowed one time to log in. So do not fill this form out until you are sure that you are done. You're sick of it. You're, you don't want to submit anymore. And you might have to leave some answers blank because you probably won't find them all. Or maybe you will. Whichever kid or group, if you're working together, finds the most problems is going to get a treat from me. I'm thinking that I might buy you like a pizza lunch or something kind of exciting like that. So um, I want you to have fun with it. I want you to spend your whole math class looking. After math class is over, it's fine if you want to give up. But some of you might want to look throughout the weekend. And I'm going to actually close the Google form on Sunday night. I know it sounds crazy, but you wouldn't believe how many kids got crazy about this last year. And I think that's what's kind of fun about it. And I think it will be a good activity. So to do while we're out so okay best of luck hope you find some problems you can certainly work together if you want to